you doing? Okay, so we're going to do a customer return today. Customer doesn't want the item, um, so he's returning it. Um, because he just doesn't want it, it's going to cost him three ninety nine to post it back to Amazon. Um, if it was a, a broken item, you know, it'd be free. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into the customer's email. And as you can see, um, this gentleman here wants to send these rose gold dots back. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, we go into Amazon. You can see I've already been doing it. <coughs> go to orders, rose gold dots. Comes up with this, we just check the order. I'll check his name, it's the same name as that. Excuse me. Exactly the same name. Okay, so what you do, you go into if 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 I just show you for a moment another order. Because I've I've kind of fast tracked a little bit just to go through it with you. So you request um return item. Okay, you choose your response. So he he basically didn't want the item. So the item wasn't damaged. No longer needed. Okay. So click continue. Continue. Okay, so you see it's gonna cost this customer three ninety nine. Um we're not actually gonna do it. We would do it with Royal Mail. I might as well show you the, the whole process. Submit. Okay, print label. So that comes up with a label. Let's get out of that. So you can see this label's come up here. There's a sender's address. This is where we're sending it to, okay? So what I'll do, I'll go back into the order we're working on because I've already pros because I've already started uh, the returns it, it changes the format slightly so gold dot okay so because we've already printed the returns label it effectively comes up here come on okay so that returns label that we saw earlier, if you take a screenshot, a clear screenshot, um, that's what I've done already. We then go back into here, paste the return, um, the address here. So what you do, see request details. Okay. Um, return address, we don't want it returned here. So we started to return it here. And I'm, it's a little bit confusing, so I do apologize. Right. Okay, add new address. Okie dokie. I mean, that probably is the, the primary one, to be fair. Right here. So we should, I've, I took a picture of it on my phone as well, just to speed up this process. I'm gonna pick the kiddies up from school in a minute. I've got everything on there, so I just wanna check if there is a number. My number is add an RMA number optional. 
case. So I don't know what the RMA number is. I don't know which one it is. Confirm that. I'm hoping, because I've not actually gone through this way before, I'm hoping it's going to ask me um, to add these labels on. No, we don't want to refund the bar now. So we have two submissions. Right, so it's all good. I mean, we've we added the address. So I haven't done that that many times. Save. Right, so we started the return. They will dispatch the item. So what they will do is print that label, put it on the package or on the item, take it to um, Royal Mail Delivery. Um, Royal Mail will send it back to Amazon. Amazon will say that they've received it. We will get a refund. Then we refund the customer. I hope that makes sense. So just to clarify, let's go back for it again. Okay, from the customer's email. Check his name and then we check the item he's using, or the item he's sending back. Find it in the search bar at the top. Send back item and start the process from that. It's actually really easy. It's not too bad. So we're just waiting on the customer to get back to us now.